Welcome back everybody to another episode. Hopefully you enjoyed that drone footage. Today, we are back out on the Fox River, if you cannot tell. There's not a whole lot to do right now. There's a lot of ice around that's unsafe and i uh, just kind of been itching to get out and catch some fish. So we're back out here to do exactly that. I'm gonna be fishing with my grandpa. Uh, he's in the back right now doing some jigging with a hair jig. It's always fun getting him in the boat, uh, watching him catch some fish and we always have a pretty good time together when we're in the boat. I've got a ton of videos on my channel uh, fishing with him. So other than that, I don't really have anything new to tell you guys if you are interested in booking a trip out here on the Fox River. I am running fully guided trips on the Fox River and Green Bay this spring and summer. I'll leave all that information down below. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down. I'm marking some fish, kind of search around, see what we can find and hopefully catch some fish on hair jigs, blade baits, and maybe even some plastics today. A little different than last time. So stick with us, stay tuned. We're going to get the lines wet, see what we can put in the bowl. got here is it the right kind yeah, I felt him tick it a little bit. oh yeah looks like a walleye hold him right there for a second my, somebody folded my net all up there you go is that your first oh, fish in the river God, this year yes, that's a nice fish. hair jig fish <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Your first fish on a hair jig, huh? Beautiful. Check out that JM here. First year that JM has made hair jigs. And uh, well, that's the first one on a hair jig. That's a nice fish, hey. Yep, definitely a female. Got some belly on it. Yep, they're getting ready to do their thing here. I'll go ahead and let them go. Awesome. That's your first fish on a hair jig, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me out. It was a lot of fun. Good job. All right. Well, Grandpa strikes first with the hair. I actually just put a hair jig on, too. I tried the blade for a little while. They didn't seem too interested in that. And then I actually switched to a plastic for a little while, too. And just super negative. We had a big drop in water temp. Obviously, the temps are really starting to drop the last couple of nights here and making these fish go a little more lethargic than they have been the last couple of times out. So it might be a little bit of a grind today, but if we can put our nose to the grindstone and put fish like that in the boat, I don't think either one of us will be too upset. That one smacked it, huh? Feel like a good one? Oh yeah. Beautiful fish, hey. Yep. Came off in the net. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Probably pretty close to the same size as the other one, actually. There he goes. Peace out, dude. Another nice one, hey. Nice work. Grandpa's been getting hit pretty good on this this morning. I've been trying a bunch of different colors and it seems like this is the one that's working so far. So I might switch over to that gold head and nice work. <laughs> Picked it right up. Yeah, ready? All right, another net. Hey, thanks. Got my first one of the day. Hair jig again with that gold top. Seems to be doing the trick. We tried a lot of different colors, or I should say I tried a lot of different colors. Gorgeous walleye right there. This one's got some cold water warts on it. Yeah, we're catching them. We're having fun. Hair jigs are definitely fun in cold water. They're one of my favorite techniques to run when the water gets cold, and, and that's what's working today. 
There she goes. We're catching fish, we're having fun. It's a little nippy this morning. Fingers are freezing. But when the fish are jumping the boat like they are, we don't care. To give you guys a little rundown on how we're working these hair jigs today. Uh, there's actually a couple different ways that I like to run hair jigs or work hair jigs. And it really depends on the conditions that you're fishing in, what the fish want that day, basically just what you're comfortable with. But I'll show you two different ways that I like to work hair jigs. As you pitch that jig out there like I just did, you let it sink down to the bottom. And once it gets down there, you'll know, you'll see your line slack up or maybe you can feel it in your rod even. What we do on Green Bay here is called a straw shine. Um, and it's just a single reel cadence basically. What we're doing is we're keeping that rod tip up. Uh, you can even keep that rod tip down too if you wanna keep that bait a little closer to the bottom. Single rotation of your reel, let that bait go down. And then just kind of keep doing that all the way back to the boat. And what's happening when you're doing that reel cadence up against this current is you're popping that jig up off the bottom, actually floating down nice and slow into that current, giving that fish ample time to be able to see it Come over check it out and hopefully bite it so that is one way to work the hair jig another way to work it is basically just a slow lift and it's just a simple snap up let that bait drop down simple snap up let that bait drop down basically what you're doing there bringing that hair jig just a little higher off the bottom rather than that single reel cadence so if you're fishing in some clear water maybe this is something that you want to do a little more just so that fish has a little bit more time to see it um, as it's kind of floating down to the bottom. So hang time is key. Depending on the current that you have, uh, you're gonna wanna use a 3 eighths, quarter ounce, maybe a 16th ounce. Uh, it really depends on, there's a fish right there, on what kind of current or again, what kind of situation you're in. If you're fishing deeper water, or shallower water, you really just kind of wanna pay attention to that when you're selecting the size on your hair jig. And there we go. We got them in the net. I was just giving it simple lifts off the bottom. That fish came up, you can see it just crushed it. I mean, that jig is gone down his, down his throat there. And it's awesome when they crush it like this and you can feel that thump, put the berries to them. Check that out. If we were gonna be keeping some fish today, this would be a good one to take home and eat. But as always, I don't have any need to keep any fish. So we're gonna let this guy go. Thank you for the demonstration there. Mr. Walleye, goodbye. That being said, that right there is how you work a hair jig, whether you're out on the Fox River, pretty much any type of system that you're on. Um, those are two great techniques to use while working a hair jig. So practice those, get good at them, and they're definitely gonna help you put a lot more fish in the boat. There you go. <laughs> yep. Well, I see the lures you had in your hand. That's exactly what I bought there. Weeks ago, oh yeah, another good one, eh? <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Loving it. Wow. Look at where the jig is. Peace out. So these JM jigs have been very popular over the years. Obviously, their blade baits have worked outstandingly um, out here on the river. Now they have created the hair jigs. They have all sorts of different colors to fit your style and a lot of different colors to kind of fit the conditions that you're gonna be fishing on any given day. So if you're looking for some hair jigs, stop down the Swamp Donkey Hut, grab yourself some. They have a wide selection there and they definitely have some jigs that'll help you catch more fish. nicer nicer one there a little bigger than the last one uh, might be in just a little bit of a feeding window here all of a sudden there's the noon whistle you guys know what time it is walleye time it's another good one <laughs> awesome fish right there yeah that being said we're gonna get this guy put back see you later Did you have fun? Yes, 
Yes, we did. Well, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Maybe you even learned a little something about hair jigs. Hair jigs has kind of been a technique that I picked up last, the last two years now here on the Fox River, and it's just been a ton of fun. It's one of those techniques that's tried and true. You know, it's been around for ages. Uh, it kind of disappeared for a little while. Now it's really starting to make its trend back. And yeah, it's a very popular technique, but super exciting to be out on the river anyways in February typically uh you know there's still ice on the river so it was fun to get out again if you guys are interested in booking a trip with me this spring i'll leave that information linked down below i'm gonna be running trips on the fox again and green bay as well but other than that we're gonna pack things up get back in the truck probably go to the car wash quick rinse the trailer down make sure there's no salt on it and pack the boat away for a couple of days looks like we got some snow coming we don't need to have the boat out playing in that quite yet but thank you guys again so much for tuning into today's videos as always keep living your dream I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.